For this video, I'd like to do a small experiment. What I would like you to do is remember the number 7. You can remember it maybe as the 7 layers of hell, or 7 heavens, the magnificent 7, um, Snow White and the 7 Dwarfs. Whichever way you choose to remember the number 7 is up to you, but just make sure you remember the number 7. It just so happens that light is so fast that in only one second it can do seven complete orbits of the Earth. Seven! Whenever I debate with a Muslim about how some facts in the Quran claim to be miracles could easily be based on previously known information, I often receive the reply, but Muhammad couldn't read? In fact, so many miracle claims use the same words. How could an illiterate man have known this 1400 years ago? It has become like an Islamic mantra for Quranic miracle claimers. It's certainly something that I've heard more than seven times. Yeah, that's right. Seven. People seem to think that Muhammad's illiteracy was relevant, as if being illiterate made him a simpleton incapable of learning. You know nothing. You always say, Mr. Faulty, but I learn. What? I learn, I learn. No, 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 I no. get better. No, 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 you don't understand. I do. No, you don't. These people think Muhammad could not possibly have learned anything about Greek writings on embryology, etc., because he could not read. The mistake these people make is to project the social norms of a 21st century developed country such as the UK or the USA, onto a man from a different area and time. Most people in 21st century developed countries would indeed struggle to learn if they were unable to read. But this is because literature is the primary form of information transmission for our area and time. In Mecca in the 7th century, this was not the case. The primary method of information transmission was oral recitation. Asking how a man from an orally reciting social group could possibly learn anything without being able to read is like asking how Einstein could possibly have learned anything without having access to the internet. It's just not how things were done back then. Can you believe that in only one second that Light can do seven complete orbits of the Earth. Seven. Seven. Now the Quran mentions Muhammad being an unlettered person. So I will assume that he was. Otherwise, the people who knew him would have objected. You will not get any arguments from me that he could really read. What I will say instead is, so what? Illiteracy was not an issue for Muhammad's time. Most people were illiterate. The Quran itself talks about how Muhammad was sent to be a prophet to an illiterate nation. The primary method of information transmission for the people of this time was listening and repeating. If you wish to imply that Muhammad was incapable of learning by ear and then repeating what he heard, then you have a big problem, because this is exactly how the Quran was supposed to have come about. You can't have it both ways. Either Muhammad's illiteracy was relevant, or it was irrelevant. If Muhammad could not hear information, memorise it, and pass it on, then he could not have learned the Quran and passed it on to others. Therefore, you cannot claim the Quran is accurate. If, on the other hand, Muhammad could hear information, memorise it, and then pass it on, then he could easily have heard these facts from others without having to be able to read them. At which point, I am often asked, but how could Muhammad have remembered so many things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't use this argument either, because this information is all in the Quran. The Quran has this information plus a lot more. You cannot claim Muhammad was unable to remember a subset of the Quran 
and at the same time claim he could remember all of it. I don't think there is any scientifically miraculous information in the Quran, but that is a subject for other videos, and there is certainly nothing of the calibre of light being so fast that in only one second it can do seven complete orbits of the Earth. Yeah, seven? That's like quicker than this. But let's say, for the sake of argument, that there are 92 scientific facts in the Quran which would have had to have been learned and incorporated into verses. The Quran was created over approximately 23 years. Even if we disregard the fact that Muhammad was already approximately 40 years old before he started his religious career, 92 facts over 23 years means that Muhammad would only need to learn one fact every three months. Now that is not very much. Actually, during this video, you have learned a fact in a much shorter time. Now, do you remember at the beginning of this video I asked you to remember a number? If I were to ask you how many times in one second light can do a complete orbit of the Earth, do you think you'd be able to answer it correctly? Well, this video does not contain a single written reference to that fact. So how could you have possibly learned it if you didn't read it? You learned it by listening. That is, assuming you were listening. The first question for one pound is, how many complete orbits of the Earth can light perform in one second? Is it A, 5, B, 6, C, 7, or D, 8? Hooray! Seven, you got it right. Well done, you're really clever. Here's your pound.